Gallagher. I've uh, been very enthusiastic about our partnership with the Job Creators Network. Alfredo Ortiz was vice president of CSM Bakery Products Food Service Division. They were a little $2 billion global food company. He's now president and CEO of Job Creators Network. Uh, we, we talk often about tax cuts works. TaxCutsWork.com. Uh, Alfredo, of course, President and CEO of Job Creators Network, joining us once again here on the Mike Gallagher Show. Alfredo, welcome back. How are you, sir? Oh, Mike, thank you very much. Always wonderful to be on your show. Always thank love you. catching up with you, especially on a big breaking news day like this announcement, the Labor Department moments ago revealing that U.S. jobless claims dropped to the lowest level since 1973 last week. Now, this is pretty extraordinary news. We continue to see very positive, uh, optimistic, productive news about our nation's economy. I truly believe that the role that Job Creators Network played in helping to get the tax cuts passed is a big factor in this. The tax cuts, the, 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 the consumer confidence, all of this seems to be coming together quite nicely. Mike, it, re it really does, and uh, hopefully we did play a hand in that, and uh, obviously all of uh, your listeners and yourself, uh, we all pitched in to uh, make that happen, but it's so critical. Uh, but what these numbers do show, uh, Mike, is that tax cuts work, right. which is why we have our uh, site up, taxcutswork.com, for folks to be able to share their stories of what they're doing, especially our small business owners, which, as you know, is, the, is really the backbone of our country. Uh, Two-thirds of new job growth is in their hands, I, and we're seeing it uh, right now. I love talking to small business owners who are so excited about this. Uh, let's talk about why these tax cuts for small business owners are so good for the economy and for employees, because the truth is wages are finally rising for hardworking Americans. Why is that happening? Well, you know, the, the, the one thing, Mike, that people have to understand about small business, and by the way, even though I, uh, I had a great career at CSM, more importantly, I was a small business owner myself, and so I know all too well the challenges also of being able to run a small business. But one thing I know for sure is that my employees weren't employees. They were family. Right. And, and, and I think all small businesses understand that, right? And so when, when they weren't doing well, some of the hardest things that they could do is let people go, take away their benefits, stuff like that. I mean, it was, it was emotion, these are emotional moments for small business owners when that happens. So they are all too happy right now and enthusiastic to hire people, bring benefits back, give people higher wages, give people bonuses. And we're going to start seeing, I think, even more, Mike, when that first quarter filing happens. Because there are some bit small business owners that don't quite understand the full impact of, of benefits that's happening to them right now. But when these first quarter filings happen mid-April, uh, they're going to start see, uh, seeing that benefit, and they're going to really be sharing that, and we're going to see even more positive news than we have uh, for, from today. One of, the, one of the real strengths of an on, entrepreneur is the risk taking the 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 kind of kind of the animal spirits uh, folks feel confident that there are tax cuts you've been at this a long time a lot of experts have basically said that we ought to accept the new normal as 1.5 to 2 percent growth alfredo we might be looking at three percent growth again thanks to these tax cuts that's according to steve moore of the heritage foundation that is huge uh, absolutely, Mike. I mean, we definitely are going to start seeing. I have no doubt that we're going to start seeing that three percent growth rate. And again, small business owners are the engine of our economy. And under the previous administration, small business owners were completely slowed down, stopped. Uh, basically, if you remember, at one point during that uh, during the, the Obama administration, we saw a very, very scary uh, data point, which was that there were more businesses that were closing than were opening. That was the first time in history, and I see that was a complete. Uh, you know, indication that entrepreneurialism in our country had come to a grinding stop under the right. Obama administration. Right. We're seeing this all rebounding now. People are enthusiastic. We're hearing this from our small business owners. They're hiring. They're adding to their, their businesses. They're buying equipment so they can expand businesses. And it's an exciting time, and we just need to keep doing it. But, but I'll tell you, Mike, it's scary because all that can come to a grinding stop if, we, if, the, if, the, if the Republicans lose control of the House. In right. November. It can't happen. And, and I truly believe Republicans are going to be energized in a way that we haven't seen in a long time. I'm uh, unrelated to job to job creators network and tax cuts work dot com. We keep hearing uh, calls to repeal the Second Amendment. I think a lot of Republicans are going to get inspired. I love our partnership. Every time I hear your voice, I get inspired whenever I see you somewhere when one of the events we've been at together or we can talk to you on the radio. I hope everybody goes to tax cuts work dot com. Let your voice be heard. Let your representative know how these tax cuts are working for you. Job Creators Network, a very important part of the Mike Gallagher Show, and we honor what you do. Keep fighting the good fight, Alfredo Ortiz. 
Will, will do. Thank you, Thank Mike. Thank you. Appreciate All the it. best. God bless. Uh, TaxCutsWork.com.